So if you, you need votes, we can we have some families all over the state and in California and Texas and Florida and New York. And and eventually and Perrin's uncle rode with Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders. So there's a contingent of Mitchells in Santiago, Cuba. So uh, so you know. But more importantly, uh, Miss Lisa Maria Mitchell Sinar, who is the uh, niece, the great niece of Congressman Perrin J. Mitchell, uh, his great great nephew. Come on, stand up, Lisa, so people can see you. This is David Sinar. <laughs> that Ben Carson did was name him a Ben Carson scholar. <laughs> and next is Dara Sonar, who is, she engaged in a conversation in fluent French with Claret, the new chancellor, and he thought she was from France or from one of the French-speaking African countries. But she learned this because in her public schools pursue excellence, we've got to learn to pick up additional languages because that's what the world is made of. And it's my one and only nephew who looks out for me all the time. So now please stand because it's um this is the this is her husband and this is David and Dara's father. But he is an artist and he's committed to it. Nate Adolfo, he's kind of been adopted. He's a, a mechanically trained engineer from uh, Cornell and who was in school with uh, other members of the family of Cornell, believe it or not. This is the way we stretch out. <laughs> Next to him is my granddaughter, named after her great, great, great grandmother, Lily Mae Carol Jackson, who was a longtime president of the NAACP for 35 years in Baltimore City, and raised the money for Thurman Marshall to go to Howard Law School in Middle Creek. And then next there is her mother, who, my daughter, Juanita Jackson Mitchell, named after her grandmother, who was uh, the first woman of color to practice law in the state of Maryland. So, Congressman Van Helen and uh, a new congresswoman uh, being over here, uh, we have people who are, our roots start in Montgomery County, believe it or not, and we still own land uh, in, uh, off of Route 108 in Ashton. So, and every time I see Ike Leggett, I said, you know, when, when we came down for his first election, a person who is in the family, I love because he has withstood uh, so many challenges, but more importantly, intimately knew my uncle and served with him in Congress. And Uncle Perrin said, you never needed an appointment to see people in power, whether you were in the White House or you were a secretary. And many times we came down to Fort Meade and uh, I said, Uncle, they're gonna shoot us. <laughs> but he said, no. And he said, I'm approved to you that the FBI 